Selecting wildlife crop trees in pole size timber stands. Crop tree release is one of the most impactful practices you can perform in your woodlands. Pole size timber stands, those being with the majority of trees about 4 to 14 inches or so, are great places to begin implementing CTR. Your professional forester has prescribed CTR, and one of your goals is wildlife habitat improvement. Let's ID some wildlife crop trees. Remember, in general, crop trees should be able to live at least 20 more years, have a healthy crown, be getting sunlight on two sides of the canopy and their top, and be vigorous and ready to respond to release. I don't know, Aaron. I might need your assistance here. Billy, I'm here to help. Just calm down. I've been doing this for 20 years. Oh, okay. For wildlife, imperfect form is okay. So if the tree's crooked, has a few defects, has a few dead branches in the upper crown, that's totally acceptable. Shaggy furrowed bark, like on this shagbark hickory, can be very valuable to pollinators, insects, and bats. In Iowa, other species with shaggy or deeply furrowed bark include bur oak, silver maple, and sycamore. Think about pollinators, both the adults and the larvae, and the timing of their blooms. For example, in Iowa, willows bloom very early, and basswoods, like we see here, bloom later in the summer and are also known as bee trees. Oaks in general have a huge pollinator impact, not only on the adults, but the larvae that eat and live on their leaves. Think about trees that have existing cavities and also species that are prone to cavity formation, like basswood, box elder, cottonwood, and even red oak to some extent. If the tree already has a series of cavities, any species is acceptable. Having it being able to live for a long time is not really that important. Dead branches and cavities in the main stem are totally okay. But if the tree with a cavity is a mass producer and looks in general pretty vigorous, go ahead and release it. Be on the lookout for hard or soft mast, or food, producers, and strive for species diversity. Released crowns are going to produce more mast than stagnant. Selecting crop trees for wildlife habitat enhancement. We'll see you in your wildlife-packed woodlands.